Hey guys, Maddie Joy here, and we are back with our Minecraft Sky Factory Let's Play, and this is episode four. In our last episode, I kind of had a lot of failure, actually. All I wanted was some iron ores. That's pretty much all I wanted. It didn't seem like it was too much to ask for, but according to Minecraft, it absolutely was. But since then, and you can hear our lovely friend over there, we do have an Enderman buddy. But since then, I have done some expanding, I have done some farming, and as of right now, we currently have 26 pieces of dirt that I was waiting for you guys to lay down, but we are going to be having so much fun with this. Also, I was able to make a bucket, so with that, um, I was able to create our, um, and yes, I think it's just our unlimited water source or whatever you call it. So it's over here, and you just take your water can, put it in there, and now it is full. This is new, or it's work. It's going to be looking a lot different. We're going to fill this in with dirt, but for the time being, what I did is I came down here and I created some stairs, and I gave us a second floor, and I'm only keeping this down here, or coming down here to show you, that when you die, because yes, I, I have died, when you die, that's what you get. And if we could get to the other side, it would say Maddie Joy on it. But yeah, and you can hear, I have a new room over there that has mobs in it, so you can hear them in there. They're ready to be attacked at any moment. I'm gonna let them keep building up. And I would love for this Enderman to go away, but knowing my luck, he will annihilate me. Ooh, did it get in the water? Oh, so these trees happen a lot, and they are absolutely massive. I just, I don't know how, I don't know. I love them, they give you a lot of resources that you need, but at the same time, they're such a pain in the butt just to get everything. See that? Like, almost everything wants to fly over the edge anyway, so you have to, like, jump for it and try to catch it. It's not the best, but that's okay. So, let's see, can we reach that? at all? It doesn't seem like we can. Perfect. We're going to keep trying to get this tree, this math massive behemoth, to come down. So let's see. I know this one, let's use a new one because it'll get more. Hopefully this will get all of them. Perfect. So now we'll just wait for random saplings to fall and we're going to have a lot more dirt with that also. So we're going to fill these up. Then I'm going to go start filling in our garden. And we have a lot to grow out there, so once we have that going, also, we're not going to really need to try to get those saplings or anything like that, because we are going to have an excess, pretty much, of everything that grows in this garden. Oops. So I'm going to fill this in. And the way it's going to work, I'm going to take these out too and fill it, but you just put water right there and you go underneath it and you block it around and I'll show you guys that. And it's pretty convenient actually, so I love how this ends up working out because that one, I keep doing this, that one area of water is going to provide water for all of this. So just in case I do fall, I don't want to fall with this. I don't care if I fall with everything else. But let's take this, we're going to need some water, and I want some planks. Perfect, so I'll put those back in there. What I'm going to do is grab some water, and I'm pretty much a wuss at this. I don't want to risk losing this stuff, but you saw how hard I fought to get that iron. So I'm not going to go down there and possibly die and bring that down with me. That bucket is staying here. So we're just going to go down here. And we are going to add some little layers. And that's pretty much all you need for this. And then you come on up. And voila! So that goes right there. And then this is going to provide water for everything surrounding you. And then all of this around it will also be dirt. But one issue we're going to have since we are in a, a cold zone is that it's always going to turn to ice. So I'm really interested to see how that ends up working out. If anything, I might have to have like a torch next to it. That's what I'm thinking might end up having to happen. So let's just get this out of the way. We'll put this right here. And we'll put a torch there, so it'll keep it melted, just like that one. 
And something else I did is I'm also going to go out that way and we're going to do our animal farm, which is just nothing but grass. And while I do that, I'm going to show you guys how you get essence seeds because these babies, I'll show you. Nope, not what I want to do. So these things, essence seeds, which ones are they? Here we go. So these are what allow you to start doing all of your magical crops and it's what you're going to use and absolutely need to be able to start mining things like diamonds and emeralds and um, the wonderful iron that we're always going to be in need of. So that's what we're going to try to start with. But also on that note, I did a whole bunch of sieving over here to get all of the iron that I needed. And so this is everything that we have. I ended up finding one diamond and one emerald, but that's all that we have. And also, this is from our previous um, little baggie, whatever that thing was called. I already forgot. What was it? Spoils bag. And so I have another one. So let's go ahead and right click this baby. We've got gold horse armor, force gems, a claw, and a safari net. So I'm going to have to learn how to use those. But for right now, we're gonna leave them. Nope, we're gonna leave them all in there, and then the gold will go over here. I'm collecting my iron stuff over here, just so I can keep it separated and know exactly how much I have. So let's see. Open this up. Put you in there. And let's collect what we have going on down here. Eventually, I'm going to try to have tons and tons and tons of. What am I trying to say? <laughs> Shears. Shears is what I was trying to think of. Eventually I'm going to try to have as many of those as possible, but until we have an excess of crops that we're going to be having just laying around... Oh, no. No, what are you doing? Please? Okay. So for now, I'm going to get some more wood just so we have more than enough to do what we're wanting to. No. <laughs> Perfect. So we have all of these, and trust me, they go so fast. I can't wait to not need them anymore, because these things just, they disappear like crazy. Also, I'm going to go back in here and take these bad boys because something I've learned is that this is very beneficial. So let's just start. And we are working our way up. And this is the best way to do this. You just start at the top and get rid of it. Okay. And let's keep going. Nope. Doesn't look like there's much else to go up there. So get that, this over here, we have two up there but those will disappear pretty easily so that's not really an issue. Do everything that's on here, yes we're gonna fall, not a big deal, and voila, everything is down. And the joys of using this means that I don't have to go one by one and get rid of them, I can just do that. Now if we had shears we would have gotten so much more from that, but eventually we will work our way up and we are doing good and we have a lot of endermen it looks like over there so what's left these ones nope not what I want to use oh and we got another tree I like it when these ones are just low enough for you to be able to hit okay we'll toss those in there those ones too and now we're going to this one. I love this. <laughs> it is so much easier. So we're going to make some more dirt. And then we're going to go in there and I will show you my mob creation. I am terrified of creepers though because they definitely love blowing up on me. Yeah. Scary. So let's go... Actually, let's eat really quick. And I'm going to put the worms... Nope. I'm going to put the worms in here. And then we're going to fill in that dirt so that we can just continually fill it in as we go. And then we'll plant some seeds. So let's see. It looks like that is keeping it from changing, so that's good. And off we go. Oh, and we have another humongous tree. Oh, 
Holy crap. Okay, we're gonna get this one really quick. Go way up. Beautiful, that's what I like to see. Okay, I do have more. And another tree just spawned also. So, let's get all of that. Please, why do they just take so long to regenerate? Perfect. So, we have a little bit left. I prefer using my or taking my chances and hoping that I can get something which that time I didn't. And now we're just going to fall on down. Yep, and that one didn't have much of a life left, so we're going to need to make more. Perfect, so let's go back over here. I'm going to tear these down, and then we're going to head over to our lovely sounding monsters. Let's see. Collect our dirt so we can just keep refilling it. And I love when I have this much dirt to just fill it like this because it is amazing. You've seen the struggles and the struggles are real. They absolutely are real. So let's put our dirt away just in case we end up dying. We don't want to have them with us. So that would be horrible. Right, and then let's just make some horribly crappy swords. Perfect. These swords suck so bad that they just disappear pretty much immediately after you use them, and I'll have to get those down later, but let's head over here and test our luck. Let's see if maybe we get another spoils bag. So I have this one out here that's the easy one, or easier to kill them, and they can't see you because it's only one fit, so they can only have one row in there. But something else on the inside is it's two rows, but something I changed out here is I moved the heads right up there. Let's see. I love bone meal. So I'm gonna eat really quick and we're gonna head into the scarier one. Earlier there were lots and lots of little blobs coming out of there trying to attack me, but it doesn't seem like there are any right now. Oh, it's actually pretty empty in here. I don't mind this at all. So let's just kill those and take our loot. Oh, now we have more, so we're just going to continue designing this with these beautiful, beautiful heads. And we're going to work our way around. I'm going to put the rest of my loot in here. Um, what do I want to put in there? Just that, I guess. Yep, and we're going to hang this stuff up because we can eat it. This turns into beautiful bone meal. And let's see. We've got dirt. I love this so much. You have no idea. Just absolutely no idea. So I'm going to take this stuff. We can put that in there. And I'm going to fill in some more dirt. I think the dirt I'm going to fill in right now is this dirt. Because then it allows for the water to start flowing you can just see it filling everything up, so I prefer to do that. Okay, I filled that area in, and then I'm just going to put the rest over here really quick, and we are heading back out. No, we don't have enough to do anything else, but we do have this lovely watering can that does magic for us. So, since we do have the watering can, we don't need this either. So let's just go on through and give these trees some life. Let's see. I think it's just wonderful how that works. So you can either use your watering can after you fill it with water to make your trees grow, or you can use your bone meal because once you have the watering can, like I was saying, it really, really doesn't matter at all if you have bone meal because you're going to see what this stuff does on crops. It is insane. So I'm just going to get the rest of the dirt that we need for our garden and I will be right back.
Good morning. So I had some fun last night. I got um, a couple more pieces of dirt. I have other pieces over here that are turning to dirt. And then afterwards, I'm going to head over and we're actually going to start working on our garden. So we're definitely going to need this. We can also go check on our creepers afterwards. But what we're going to do is we need a hoe. So let's make one. Actually, we'll probably have a couple. And then I'm probably going to want to have a chest over there, specifically just for whatever we get. But I think we want more than just one. So, there we go. We are going to head over there. I'll leave all that stuff there. I think I will put the chest here. I think that works. And then I'm going to grab our dirt and we will get started. I don't have any sitting in there. No. So, we have one, two, and three pieces of dirt it looks like. And I think that's all that we can do. We can use these really quick though just to do something. Maybe something will grow. If not, it'll at least boost them for when we do come back. Okay, good. So, the first things we are going to plant. Oh look, one did grow. We have grass seeds, which we only need one of. You'll be surprised, but we only need one, but that's going to be saved for later. I'm just going to put it over there. These are all of our different trees that we have. So we have spruce, acorn, rubber trees, and birch trees, but we don't need any of those right now. The main thing we want are some potatoes, because these are going to be coming in handy. Sugarcane, not so much yet. We can use these. Um, these ones are kind of a pain because you need extra spaces for them to grow on, so I'm going to leave them there for now. And then just normal seeds. The main things that I'm going to focus on are just, I guess, our carrots and our potatoes because these are going to give us tons and tons and tons of dirt. So while we're over here, let's grab this really quick. That was easy. This one's about to break. Oh, and we got another one just now too. So we're going to work our way over to the garden. I promise. I'm just going to do this and we will completely ignore going over to our mobs. Did we not? Oh, we didn't pick them up yet. I was about to say, out of all of that, even though we still only got three, that wasn't really anything. So, we continue on over here really quick. Oh gosh, now there's another one. Okay, last one. And then we are going to the garden. So let's see. Perfect. We're gonna chop these down. So exciting. Yes, I know it is so exciting. Can I reach that one? Perfect. I can. I say perfect a lot, don't I? You guys need to help me not say that. Give me a different word. And there's another one. Okay, I lied. This is the last one. Definitely the last one. Okay. Do I have any more? Nope. So that's just gonna have to fall down on its own. It can maybe give us saplings. We'll hope it will. We'll toss these in here. Toss those ones in there. Those ones in there. <laughs> okay, like I said, I promised you that I wouldn't do it again, so we're ignoring that. Okay, <laughs> we're going to the garden. We are going to the garden. We have three pieces of dirt right now. We can get rid of this, because that is not necessary. And here we go. So let's just get started. And I'm going to show you how this crazy bad boy of a um, watering can works. Because it is awesome. So what I want is I'm going to have this area only potatoes and this area only carrots. We're starting out at least. So let's show you what this can do. Pull out, oh wait, I'm gonna lay these down also. I don't want to fall off. Perfect, so watch this, just watch. So they're at 0% right now of their growth, and we're just gonna hang out, watering, watering, and so they jumped to 14%, and now they're at 29%, and 43, 57. It's crazy how this works. It just, it literally speeds them up like crazy. So you just keep going, keep going, and we're at 86%. We almost have them fully grown. So we're just gonna 
hold out. There we go. And we have our first one fully grown. And we have carrots. And we didn't get any other seeds, but you can just plant them down like this. So I am going to continue doing this and fill this entire area up and once, well, each of their sections. And once I do that, I will be back. Okay, so we are just feeling we are just filling in our last ones so so we're just filling in our last one now and we have successfully gotten an entire garden of carrots and of potatoes over there we are in business that's for sure these are not really good for eating they only fill up one it's gonna take way too long not even one so the best thing for them is to just be composted and you can put everything in there that you garden. So that is going to be really nice. You can also put these lovely worms. So we'll just toss one in there. But as you can see, we were only working on that garden for a handful of Minecraft hours and we have all of that now because of this water and pan. It is crazy what it can do. But now we are going to go check on our mobs and after that we will actually pay attention to what else we have going on. What I'm going to do first is toss those in there because I don't want to take them with me. Definitely don't want to lose that. Grab some of our food. I don't think we have any more to hang up. Not that I saw, but I could have easily missed it. I'm not really doing that. And let's see what we get. I don't know, this one's pretty empty over here. Let's see if three other endermen try to attack me. No. So I learned that there's little, like, baby endermen also. Like, there's the baby, um, is that my tomb? Yep, that's my tomb before I died. There's little baby endermen just like there are baby um, zombies, and I didn't know that. So it's pretty empty over here right now. I guess we'll just leave it alone for a while longer and see what we get. Oh, we got a helmet. Yay! And we also got boots earlier from a nice drop from a zombie. So I am going to have us go to sleep, and I will see you when we wake up. We are awake. So today what I'm going to have us work on is creating our cobblestone generator because I know I talked about that before and we didn't really get to it because we had other things that we were focused on or because we technically couldn't do anything like that yet. But we're getting there. So I'm going to go find a location for that because I actually don't even know where I want to put something like that. First thing we need to do though is we need to create some cobblestone. So we are going to be needing to create dirt. Yes, you heard me. Dirt. So we're gonna head back. Oh, I didn't even grab my watering can. Of course I didn't. We're gonna head back over here to our lovely garden and try to get as many crops as we can so we can harvest these babies, put them in and get some composting done. And then we'll get some dirt and from that we will get our cobblestone. And you don't need a lot of cobblestone to be able to have a bucket full of lava, but I do want enough cobblestone to at least guard the area that is going to have the lava so we don't have to continually put out our wood that's going to be catching fire. So, do you guys see how crazy easy this is? Like, it just goes so fast. And there we have more potatoes. It's crazy. I love this watering can so much. It just changes everything because now you actually have some sort of control over your crops. It's not enough control to where the game doesn't still pretty much decide when they're going to grow, but it's definitely enough for you to at least sit, sit around and be like, oh, I know at least in maybe 30 seconds to a minute my crops are about to be, you know, growing. So I think that's pretty awesome that you know when they're going to be harvestable and you don't have to continually check back and forth. So let's see if this is enough because I honestly have no idea how much you need for the composting in terms of these. So I know with apples it takes quite a lot. Okay, so that's good. Well that turns into dirt. Let's see. Can we not get any bone from those zombies? Nothing at all? That is incredibly lame. Are there any other zombies over here? Because I would really like some bones. Yet. 
I'm gonna make a dark curtain for that once we actually have more um, wool because right now we only have four pieces we just need a couple more things of string yep here are all the angry ones here to attack me but once we get more string we'll be able to make wool I don't want to waste my trees right now on string so I have put that off it's not a big deal but we'll be able to use that later on to darken out that room and it'll have a really good effect on what we're trying to do let's see can we get any of these to grow The trees take a little longer and it doesn't really give you the satisfaction of telling you like what size they're at. So I tend to not have enough patience with them because I'm like, well is it a lost cause? Is it growing yet? See just like that. You never, never know. And I like knowing. So let's get some more sticks. It looks like we need some wood. Yep, and we just got another tree. That's what I like to see. Beautiful. No, not what I wanted. Perfect. Put that away. Dun, dun, dun. I don't know why I did that. So, this is moving so fast now. I love it. I mean, it still has some slow parts, but do you remember day one? Yeah. Pretty freaking miserable if you ask me. So we have that going. We have another piece of dirt over here. Let's sift this dirt and see if we can get some stones out of it then I'll just turn that into lava instantly. No, of course we're just one away. Do I have one in here? I don't have one in there. Oh, you can throw this. <laughs> I had no idea. If you right click it, you can throw it. Well then, there goes another piece of stone. Oops. Let me have some more. I will take it. And more. I love this. We have food. We are making some good progress. Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. Okay guys, so I'm going to end this episode here because I don't want to skip too much and if I try to fit more of what I'm doing into this one episode and keep it in a small time frame, then I'm going to have to like squish a lot of things out of here and have you guys miss me doing it. And I don't want to do that because I want to make sure you guys see as much as you can. If you do want longer videos, then let me know down below or if you don't mind having more shorter videos like this one then also let me know down below so I can know what to do so I can work with you guys but if you guys enjoyed give it a thumbs up if you want to subscribe then I would greatly greatly appreciate it we are going crazy with subscribers right now it's so exciting but I'm having a blast with this series and I can't wait to post the next one these ones are going to be going like crazy because I just can't stop playing this game so I'm having a blast if there's different tips that you guys know about this mod pack let me know down below or if there's different things that I've done that you want me to kind of explain better in future episodes definitely let me know because I would love to do that for you thanks again for watching have a great day guys